Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. Today we're going to be doing a review of the book Nocturne. Nocturne is a collection of short stories by H.B. Diaz. If you want to follow her or know more about her, it says she's on Twitter and Facebook at Holly B. Diaz. I will link all of that stuff below. But she writes predominantly mystery and horror and this is a self-published collection but I, I do think that she has been published by some traditional publishing houses for some of her other writings i will be going and searching those out because i really enjoyed this collection there are 12 stories in this book they range in length from just a few pages to probably 15 or 20 pages is probably the longest one I really enjoyed the first story. I thought it just kind of hooked you and it told you what you were in store for. And that is some really good tense moments where I was just left like unsettled in a few places, <laughs> just like creeped out. And there's not body horror or anything like that. So if that's something that you want to stay away from, there's not really a lot, a lot of that in this book. It mostly is just some short little short stories that are horror like they're just creepy another one of my favorites was the malady of miss monroe i feel like some of these are so short that i can't even really tell you what happens without giving away things and i don't want to do that and so i first heard about this book from steve's channel at steve talks books he did an interview with the author and i think once that interview happened leslie at the nerdy narrative picked this book up because she saw the interview or something about the interview and then she read it and she was talking about how good it was and i didn't realize that hb diaz was a female writer and then whenever i went and looked at her bio and saw that it said her name was holly i was like oh like i don't know why i just expect horror writers to be men I guess predominantly they have been in the past but that this is when I was trying to first get into female horror writers and I stumbled upon this collection and I just really enjoy it okay so let's go back to what I said might be my favorite the very first story and it's called the patient in room 96 and this one I don't know how many pages it is it's probably just 10 maybe not even 10 pages maybe like six pages and we meet a lady who is the patient in room 96 and we discover maybe why she is a patient in room 96 as she is remembering i highly recommend you get this collection if you have kindle unlimited it is available to get right now just go to your kindle and look for this collection even if you just read one little story a day you'll finish it in less than two weeks and they don't take very long to read you will be i think you will be entertained and maybe a little creeped out so thanks for watching if you have found any women horror writers that you really love please put them below because i'm still trying to expand my reading of women especially in horror and I would love to know some more recommendations from everyone finally if you made it this far leave a scary emoji whatever kind of scary emoji that you want to leave <laughs> and I will see you in my next video bye